Oh, how is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Safi chapter. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Safi's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Before Safi died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi, canoodling. But what does that even mean? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Hey, what the fuck, man? You can't just barge in here. But who's barging? I'm just paying a visit to Caledon University's artist in residence. Can a guy appreciate high art? There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you?
Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Moses and I put it together the day after Safi died. So we didn't have to be alone. That's a cute story. But it's bullshit. I don't know what you want me to say. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. <laughs> he saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. Feels good. Final. Safi. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi! How did we get here? What happened? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max! I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger.
I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming.
Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I... shot Sophie. But I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they'd bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's try this again. Psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to...
You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? A bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. But Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Safi mentioned Maya, and, oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyatt's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of... <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. 
How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? What do you want from us? I thought I wanted some evidence. Close this fucking case and celebrate with a nice cigar. And then I got my evidence. That little photo of you with the gun. And you know what I realized? Not a fucking soul would believe me. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... collect? Express to campus. If our colleagues, our friends, our students get devoured like this? I can just I can just stop using my powers. Start it with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay. Talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya, and while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising.
Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. I will never be as cool as Gwen. Old school. Nice. More music I'm not cool enough to know. It's alive! A black rose? Pretty morose. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max, hey! So what's why all the pleasure? Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. Look, I don't know what I'm at liberty to tell you, but I'll do my best. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? Uh, forgive me for dancing around things. I... I wish I could be straight with you, really. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that... Ben Lang kid... used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then... Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. 
and made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? Someone ought to. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya... Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out... Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond the Guard. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Sugar and spices in my latte? Yes. Eggnog? No. No caffeine? This week of all weeks? I predict outright revolt before the week is out. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... So, so. <laughs> I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? 
No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Everyone I've talked to says Sophie and Maya were joined at the hip. You had to have known that. Are you implying I'm lying? All due respect, Yasmin. But... I know you're not telling the truth. Of all the brazen, ungrateful... Safia had nothing to do with what happened to Maya Okada. Whatever else may be true... That is the bottom line. What happened was messy and painful. You're Safia's friend. Surely you understand the need to protect her from rumors and gossip. If it's just rumors, what are you afraid of? Rumors are ammunition to those who want to see you fail. Because you're a woman. Because you're Arab. Because you're a single mother. Because, because... Frankly, it shocks me you don't realize this. Vin understood immediately. What does Vin have to do with this? Obviously, you won't stop digging. So go ask him yourself. Wow, I guess I should talk to Vin. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass.
Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. This school's success means a lot to Yasmin. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed-off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in the importance of being earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, but I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So it had nothing to do with Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Gununa's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Why is Yasmin talking about you, of all people, Vin? Maybe... I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. <laughs> Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up, can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? 
You gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? A her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need- The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here.
I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example... If Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But... Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Max, don't need to knock. My door's always open. Come on in. I want to show you something. Aw, cute. <laughs> My son gave that to me a few years ago. I just dug it out of storage. Looks like someone had a party foul. What? Oh, it's just coffee. Uh, I'm a little preoccupied. Ah, are you familiar with that Alcaria forests? They're all over southern Chile. I'm not. They look beautiful, though. Well, next time the wanderlust hits you. I don't recognize the name. Oh, that. A fan sent it to me. He's quite famous, actually. 
Do you follow much football? Uh, not really. What can I get you to tell me about Maya? What did you want to show me? Take a look at that. This is actually a really cool shot. I hope Robbie's doing okay. A pen so fancy I'd be nervous to write with it. A movie? Holy shit. Now I don't have to read the rest of the book. Holy shit. He actually did it. Did I make the right choice? Should I have told Sophie about this? It's a temporary one. I bought myself two weeks to find some solid evidence. I know you may not be thrilled. Safi's your friend. But it's giving me a lot of peace of mind, so... Thank you. You don't have to thank me. It was none of my business. Shouldn't have been looking through your stuff in the first place. I don't disagree, but no harm done. But I'm sure that's not why you came to my office. How can I help you, Max? How's Robbie doing? Still angry with me, but we're making progress. I canceled a few things to go to his Taekwondo match. I think it made him happy. I don't mean to pry, but I couldn't help seeing that email from your agent. Oh, no worries. It's an incredible feeling, getting chosen for the big screen. About time, right? <laughs> uh, just don't tell people yet. Okay, Max? These sorts of things, they have to be announced properly. I'm thinking at Krampus. Krampus? Probably. I have a call with my agent later. I'll get the details then. Why aren't you at that Burlington book event? The book expo? I pulled out. Didn't seem important, what with everything happening to Robbie and all this. I was wondering, what can you tell me about Maya Okada? Why do you ask? Surely you know why I'm asking better than anyone else. I'm afraid I don't, actually. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a phone call to take with my agent, so if you could see yourself out. Sure. Well, that was a bust. Won't be able to snoop around in here, either.
All right. Let's see what I can find about Maya. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Surely there's something good in here. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. Could try this lock. Doesn't fit. Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? This cabinet has a lock, and it's big enough to hold a few secrets. Nope. Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kinda like Lucas. There's a little lock on that drawer. I didn't know typewriters could have drawers. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit, it's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Sophie, hey. Stay strong, Habibti. You know where to find me. Something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. 
Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up for me. But... It's not up to her to take care of me anymore. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Do? I'm not gonna do anything. Well, obviously doing nothing is making you miserable. If I was at home, I could get wasted. But they won't serve me here. Amanda cards. Alcohol isn't a solution. I don't need a lecture. Well, good. My dad's the preacher, not me. Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me! I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Safi. And I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. <laughs> I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max Journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more.
should just tell him. Tell him what? Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. Old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? <sighs> like... <laughs> like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? 
We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's hang back and watch the crowd. <laughs> Word. I got a stew Roman Cokes. Now hold on just one minute. Is this Pepsi? Damn it. Again? Eddie. We talked about this. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she would land. <laughs> Max. You weighed 90 pounds soaking wet. No time to think. Okay. She crashes into you. You both go down. Uh, I'm so hardcore. But the singer jumps right back up. You're dazed, but I pull you to your feet. <sighs> Was I chewing gum before? <laughs> Badass. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one terrifying horse sticker, a solo cup that once contained a rum and coke, and the piece of gum that was inside the front woman's actual mouth. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence will make things worse for everyone around me. You keep saying that, about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch onto people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. Because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um. So 
sorry. Did I do something wrong? No. No. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And you need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to break me? <laughs> Max Caulfield, you are the worst. When do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. Um. Looks like nobody's having a great night. Gwen and I have both had terrific days, it looks like. Hey, Gwen. We just keep meeting like this. Guess we've both had bad days. <laughs> you have a disciplinary hearing tomorrow, too? I did get into it with Yasmin. She lied to my face. Oh, to your face? She must really like you. <laughs> you want my input? Cut and run. Caledon is shiny, but trust me. Just talk to me, Safi. Tell me what's happening. You can't be a boss. This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but he doesn't look good exactly. Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so... Reggie. 
I know I'm not doing good. Max, I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Reggie, you're funny, genuine, clumsy. <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Anytime. So, are you gonna take the Visionary Ventures gig? I'm supposed to give them an answer by tomorrow, and... And? This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. There's Ven, looking... rough. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. <laughs> Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um. Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Toffee. Well, I should have told you. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't hurt boyfriend or anything and it ended a while ago but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up eventually <laughs> any other deep dark secrets you've disinterred from my past I know what happened to Maya <coughs> Christ Max I was joking. And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young. I was an asshole. And I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless, you can't even remember being them? I 
I think you fucked up. Maybe. I weighed a salary against my ethical footprint, and I decided I wanted to get paid. Can all make a living photographing roller coasters. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking, and then Sophie happened, and I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh, that's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once. I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What, you're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon, it's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She's a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship in two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas, smash or pass? Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yes, mean. Now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I am incredibly unshocked. Yeah? Yeah. Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both no. Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So? What about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Don't take this the wrong way, but... No worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah. 
Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so... <laughs> Thank you. Night, Max. Good night, Vin. I better cross back over in case Safi is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. Hell? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? There goes my security deposit. Here? Fuck! I think they just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. I don't need an article. 
I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. Hope you've got an eyeful, creep. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. Shit is right. You're... You're me. I wish I could tell you there's a reasonable explanation for that. Wait! No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? both timelines to find her. Hope I haven't lost her. I 
Almost got her! What? Now what? Where did you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Uh Super Max? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. <laughs> 